Juliana Cohen at the Harvard School of Public Health in the Department of Nutrition, and I'm looking at how school meal waste has implications for student nutrient consumption. Roughly 32 million students eat school meals every single day. So the changes that we make to school meals have important implications for students throughout the nation. When we went to the schools, we were surprised by how much food was being wasted. We found that on average, kids were throwing about 50% of the calories from the meals away. We saw that students were throwing out roughly 75% of the vegetables that they were being served, about half of the fruits that they were being offered. Back in 2007, we collaborated with Project Bread to hire a professional chef to go into these schools and to work with the staff to help give them more skills and also new recipes to make the meals even healthier and better tasting. We made the meals healthier with more whole grains, more fresh and frozen produce. We also reduced the sugar and lowered the sodium in the school meals. We made sure to emphasize healthy fats, but also lower the saturated fats in the school meals. We were concerned that when we started to introduce healthier foods to the students, that they would would reject them and we were very excited to find that this was not the case at all. Students were likely accepting these healthier meals because we also focused on the palatability. What we found is that offering children healthier meals is critically important but there's another piece to this that's important as well and the food has to taste good for children to eat it. We think there are a few things that could help to reduce school food waste. Food service directors have an incredibly difficult job and what we need to do is support food service directors by giving them more high quality foods offered through the Commodity School Program, we also need to give them more money to be able to purchase high quality foods that kids will like the taste of as well. We also need to give them training opportunities for the culinary skills that they want and need to be able to serve the healthier foods that also taste good for these students. We were talking to a principal in one of the schools and he said that after the chef came, he said for the first time students were eating the meals. He said in the past what had happened was that students would go through the lunch line and they'd actually walk over to a garbage can and throw out some of the food before they even sat down to eat the meal because they didn't like them. He said for the first time, kids were getting the meals and then sitting down to eat because they liked them. Mm -hmm.